Kenny Choi and Catherine Cruz have you covered, so let's start live with Kenny in Nu'uwana where that search ended. Paula, we're here on Lelehua Lane near this Chevron gas station right behind me where authorities say that they caught Daniel Skelton late this afternoon, shortly after 4 o'clock. They had been in this area all morning long, searching and even sending out tweets to the public warning them that Skelton could be in this lower Nu'uanu area. We talked to one resident who lives inside this building. She says that somehow Skelton ended up on her lanai on the second floor. She heard noise coming from there and that's when she encountered the escapee. His face was painted black, yeah. Oh, painted black. Painted black. And, he, and I recognized the orange hair from, from the news. Um, so what he did was he was on the balcony. I saw him through the window. I came outside, I said, what are you doing? Um, he turned away and he said, can I use your bathroom? And I said, no, you need to leave. Um, so he just jumped off onto that ledge, down onto the other one, onto the ground, and then back behind my neighbor's house. Yanji, we're here on the corner of Cook Street and Alamana Boulevard. And as you can see, this is the traffic going westbound. It is not moving much. Pretty much bumper to bumper traffic for the last hour that we've been here. We've been talking to commuters. They've been showing us their iPhones as they pass us, showing us how much time that they've been spending in their cars. We've talked to several commuters, several drivers, perhaps nine or ten who have told us that their commute from Alamana Center, just right down the street, to this point has taken them three hours or more. So that's the situation here, all because of two westbound lanes that are out of commission on the H1 since this morning. It happened around 9.15. A Zipmobile car stalled. Crews from the Department of Transportation tried to fix that Zipmobile with a backup power pack. But when they tried to do that, both power packs malfunctioned and they did not have any more to fix those two Zipmobiles that they have. Uh, Department of Transportation telling us today that they are flying in some parts overnight and they hope to fix those zip mobiles tomorrow so that they can reopen those westbound lanes. That's the best scenario. Now, all of this traffic, of course, as you can imagine, uh, drivers very upset, confused, um, unaware of the situation. Also has them wondering, is there a better way to get to the west side? And for that part of the story, here's KITV4's Andrew Pereira.